Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a solo hammock overnighter. And as you guys can see, I've already got the shelter totally set up behind me. I've got the hammock, the under quilt, sleeping bag, everything ready to go. I just got to get all my cooking stuff inside. It does look like it might rain today, so I'll probably be spending a lot of time outside. But if it does start to rain, I'll make my way inside leave both doors open that way I can kind of be inside but be outside at the same time so it is coffee time and I definitely need one so I'm going to get all my stuff together over by the hammock make up a quick coffee and start enjoying this awesome area that I've got right here
Okay guys, I've got my coffee made up and it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I've been asked about my coffee grinder a number of times now and I just want to mention again, just to clear it up, I purchased this on Amazon, but I do not recall the name and it's not in my Amazon cart anymore. So apologize to whoever's asking me about this. It's just a generic coffee grinder. Uh, if you do pick one up, I highly suggest searching for one with a ceramic grinder, which is what I got right here. It'll last a lot longer. But I do not recall the name brand. They're just a generic thing on Amazon. You can find them very, very easily. Uh, so that aside, I do want to mention my goal for today's trip. And I brought my carving kit with me. I've got my chisels and my little hook spoon in here, or my hook knife for making spoons. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be carving a tiny little wooden coffee spoon. Now, I do have my titanium spoon that I bring with me all the time. However, I just want a nice tiny little wooden spoon specifically for making coffee that I can add to my coffee kit. So that's gonna be today's fun little project. I am gonna enjoy my coffee for a few more minutes before I grab my saw. I wanna head off into the woods in search of a piece of hardwood good enough to carve, bring it back here and start carving. Okay guys, so the tree that I've chosen is a young maple. And the reason why I say young is it's actually dead, but it hasn't grown to full size. So it died rather early in its lifespan. Now the bottom half of this tree is still fairly green. And the upper half, as you guys can see, is totally dead and dry. So somewhere in between the green wood and the dry dead wood, I've got to find a spot in the middle right where that death kind of began. And I could tell all the way down here, this bark is still peeling off. I think this is gonna be the spot where I wanna carve. So I wanna be in between the green and in between the really dead portion to get a good solid chunk of maple. So I'm just gonna peel this bark back. And basically I'm just gonna take probably about a foot, a foot and a half section, uh, cut it off and then work with this piece of wood over by the tarp and save the rest for firewood for tonight.
Okay guys, so I'm all finished up carving my spoon, and I've got to say, I'm actually kind of digging it. It, uh, it is just as ugly as I thought it would be, but you know what? That is okay, because I bet it will do the job exactly how I want it to. So that's pretty cool. So I wanted a flat style spoon with a very shallow bowl. Uh, I still have to drill a hole in it to put a little lanyard, maybe jute twine on it. And uh, I just wanted something shallow that I could just spoon coffee beans or ground coffee. And this thing is crazy light. I would say, oh yeah, definitely lighter than my titanium spoon, even though it's got some mass to it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I, uh, I don't carve things very often and I don't try to make them very pretty, but I'm actually kind of happy with that. It's very rustic. I left all the carve marks in there. I'm not going to sand it. I'm just going to leave it as is with a hole and a little lanyard of jute twine. So I'll probably be bringing this out with me quite often. I'm gonna make a, uh, a traditional coffee kit and uh, I'm actually kind of digging that right now. I like it. So I'm all done with my spoon. I am going to heat up some coffee though because I do have some left in my, oh yeah, I probably got another cup left in my pot. So I'm gonna warm that up and drink that all up. And then I'm gonna go collect some firewood because it is getting a little late in the day. The wind is picking up. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon, but the sun is working its way down. And like I said, it is getting quite windy out. So I'm gonna go collect some firewood, get that done and out of the way, and then probably start on some supper.
All right, guys, sunset is finally here. This is my favorite time of the evening on any camping trip. Campfire, birds in the background, nice colors over the lake. We got a nice sunset happening. And one unfortunate thing did also happen. So you guys will notice this pile of firewood over here. Um, if I can grab a piece. So I was over breaking these sticks and these are still a little wet. We had rainfall in the last couple of days. And if I bend that back, you can see all those sharp pieces kind of sticking out. Well, I was bending a piece and it snapped and it came up and caught me right in the side of the face. So I now have a big hole in the side of my chin and I was looking at it in the LCD of the camera when it was a little brighter out and I definitely need two stitches, maybe one, but I definitely need stitches in my chin. Now I have two options. One, I could pack up and I can go home, which is not even on the list of my consideration. I'm not going home for two tiny little stitches. Um, or two, I could stitch it myself. Now, I already tried that, except I went in my backpack. I found my alcohol swabs and my band-aids. My needle and thread is not in there. It's in my other backpack. So, I can't even stitch it myself, and I can't even put a band-aid on it because it's in my beard, and obviously there's hair, so it's not going to stick. So, what I've been doing is I basically took alcohol swab, and I just jammed it in there, cleaned it up. It burned like crazy, but it's now sterile and clean. I'm going to keep a close eye on it later on tonight. I might get a flashlight in there with the LCD on the camera, take a look at it, and basically just kind of jam a t-shirt in there to keep it off of anything. And uh, I'm just going to enjoy the fire for the rest of the night. So I did get a hole in the side of my chin, which is unfortunate, but at least it wasn't my eyeball. That's all I care about. So I'm going to chill out here for a little while. I'm still watching the sunset off in the distance, and hopefully the loons come out. I'm always excited to hear the loons on the lake. And then later on this evening, I think I'm just going to make my way into the hammock and probably watch a movie on my phone that I've got downloaded and just have a nice relaxing camping trip and then coffee and some breakfast in the morning. So this is going to be me here for the rest of the evening and I'll check in with you guys when I head inside of the shelter. All right, guys, I'm inside the shelter now and I am definitely enjoying this trip. So, update on my chin. My chin is completely numb, uh, kind of tingling a little bit. So, I'm sure it'll be fine for the rest of the night. I'm going to put an alcohol swab on it before I go to sleep and basically just worry about it in the morning. Uh, I've been out by the fire for the last two hours. I can hear the owls off in the distance on the other side of the lake. So, that's pretty cool, relaxing sound. And uh, I'm really excited to get out of these clothes. So I do have another change of clothes with me. I brought some socks and some pajama pants. I'm going to get those on and get my shoes hung up on my ridge line here. And then I'm going to pull my bug net. One thing I forgot to mention is I do have a bug net for my hammock, but it's more of a sock. So i got to pull that all the way down, which is going to keep everything kind of away from the bugs, away from the ticks and the mosquitoes. So... There are quite a few mosquitoes in here right now, and I'm getting very antsy, and I want to get inside of the bug net. So I'm going to say goodnight to you guys, and I'm, I'm having a great time so far, and I'm really excited for the morning time to see what the weather is like. So I'll catch you guys in the morning for coffee. Good night, guys.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful morning out here, absolutely silent. The only noises that I can hear are two loons out on the lake right now and a couple birds chirping around, little chickadees bouncing around the treetops. So I've been up for a little while now. I've had breakfast. I'm still on my coffee right now. And I just decided to come over here, open up half of the shelter and have a 180 degree view of the lake. And it looks awesome. The, the mist is still rolling off the lake, catching the morning sunrise, nice golden mist kind of rolling off. And uh, all in all, a really good morning. So it did get quite cold last night. It got down to eight degrees Celsius. So that's quite chilly from a daytime of 28 degrees Celsius during the day. Uh, I got my hoodie on, I've got my winter toque on, I've got the under quilt slapped on here. So I was quite chilly last night. I wasn't cold, but I was a little chilled. And I uh, just kept tossing and turning a little bit. And then I finally fell asleep and I woke up this morning to beautiful colors in the sky and the sounds of loons on the water. So right now I've done a little bit of a tidy up. I'm going to continue drinking my coffee because I still have a little bit left of that. And then I think I'm going to slowly start packing up and uh, just kind of take my time at it. Just enjoy the, the sights and sounds of the lake out there, the trees, the color. Just it's nice. It's nice and crisp and cool this morning. And this is my kind of weather. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee for a little bit longer and then start on the pack up process. Okay guys, so there we have it. Everything is packed away inside of the backpack. I do want to cover a few key notes before I say goodbye because I know I'm going to get asked in the comment section. So let's take a look at this right now. So what I've got for a backpack is a 50 liter pack and everything inside, everything is coming in between 25 and 27 pounds for my entire loadout. 12 pounds of that is my hammock hot tent and then the rest spread out miscellaneous. So it's between 25 and 27 pounds for this entire loadout, which is a very respectable weight for a gigantic canvas hot tent. Now, if I wanted to go a little bit winterized, or I should say fully winterized, I'd have to add five pounds to four pounds for a titanium stove. And then everything else would stay the same because my down under quilt that I have is much lighter and more compact than the synthetic that I was using today. And my top quilt is a little bit heavier, but still very packable. So it, the, the sleeping system would equal out. It would equal out 25 to 27 pounds. It would just be a winter setup as opposed to a three season setup. So for winter, probably about 32 to 35 pounds max. That's with food and water, whatever water you need to bring. If we got snow on the ground or if I'm at a lake, I don't need to bring water. 
Today I did bring one little 500 milliliter bottle with me and I kept refilling it and boiling the water out of the lake to sterilize it. So 25 to 27 pounds for a loadout, not terrible. The trip went really well, the food was awesome, the, the scenery, the loons, everything was really cool. And my little spoon, so I'm really happy with this tiny little spoon. I'm actually digging it quite, quite a bit, really. I, it looks ugly, but I like it. And it worked really well this morning for coffee. I was spooning my coffee beans with it. Everything worked really well. So all in all, the trip was really fun. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, drop them down in the comment section, and I'll do my best to help you guys out in there. But for now, I got to get this on my back, get my spoon in the top, and I'm going to hit the trail and get out of here. So peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.